Send the bishops up, please. These mathematical formulae are extraordinarily complex. Physicists use diagrams like these to shorthand ideas about how subatomic particles behave. These are sublime. This may explain his flourish for numerical wallpapering. Astrophysics. He teaches at MIT. If I comprehend this correctly, then this Alice de Peck has taken Einstein's theory of relativity and turned it on its ear. I grasp portions of it. Tachyons are depicted here, but I fail to see their relevance. However, it does confirm uh, that Dr. Peck was dealing with tremendous energy to do well, whatever it is he's doing. Finish. Another 20 years, with the assistance of some other great minds, I will have absorbed this information. Alistair Peck has conceived of some extraordinary theories and is possibly implementing them. Meaning what? He may well be able to travel through time, conceivably. Einstein himself theorized this. 10 a.m., 11 a.m. He said that... If something could propel an object faster than the speed of light, then time would appear to bend. When those two folds connect, tremendous amount of energy is required to absorb the jump. From any power source. So the laptops, the phones. And anyone who was near him. Yes. So then what you're saying, Walter, is that Peck's moving through time is what killed all of these people on the train. That is my theory, yes, and Olivia, if it is right, then we may well have apprehended this man already. 